Hey everyone, this is Michael from Barton Musical Circuits. This is the new BMC 100, the deluxe decaying analog noise. Uh, the original decaying analog noise was a thinner module that didn't have as many jacks or as many features, and I don't think it sounded as good as this one. So yeah, I'm gonna try to quickly go through this because there's a lot to get through. Uh, this module has uh, a noise source, envelope generators, VCA and VCF all built into it. And I took care to have extra patch points so you could use this with other modules as easily as possible. And uh, so this might be good for someone who's just starting out and uh, wants to have a, a lot of functions uh, out of one module. So uh, starting off with the, these first two knobs here and then these first four jacks, uh, this is our envelope generator. Uh, this sets the decay for the VCA and the VCF. Uh, and then we have two inputs, trigger and gate. Trigger it'll decay immediately, and gate it'll decay uh, once you once the gate goes low. So uh, I'm pressing a button, the light immediately goes off. Uh, here I'm pressing a button, it stays on until I release the button. Uh, and then uh, A and F envelope outputs, amplitude and frequency. Uh, these can be sent to control an external VCA or some other module. Um, so that way if you're using this to work with uh, external um, sound sources and process them, it's a little bit easier. Um, next we have our noise output here. So you can just listen to that. Uh, this is an improved noise circuit. This should be more resilient to, you know, in case you got kind of a bad sounding uh, diode that wasn't as noisy. Uh, and it's also pretty good at rejecting noise from the power supply, which the original Dan wasn't as good about. Uh, the next uh, sub circuit is the VCA. So amplifier in and amplifier out. Uh, there's no external control voltage for the VCA, uh, just our envelope generator here. And the amplifier in is normalized to the noise out. So I'm gonna plug into the amplifier out and then put a trigger in here. And the amplifier out is then normalized to the VCF input, the one below it. Uh, that's a little backwards from how people usually patch. Normally you'd go filter and have the VCA as the last. I liked it being that you could just have uh, two patch cables, an input and an output, and be able to select which output from the VCF. This is a state variable VCF, so we have low pass, band pass, and high pass outputs. Uh, we also have an external control voltage input for this one. And yeah, uh, let's set it to low pass. Uh, our depth knob here, this is an attenuator. So uh, we're gonna have an increase in frequency when we turn it to the right and decrease to the left, which you'll see in just a second. Here's the high pass output, which is useful for doing kind of cymbal -y sounds, or hi-hat sounds, I should say. And the band pass. And I haven't really messed with the resonance knob. Let's go back to low pass.
Uh, and then this can also be used to process external signals, like I was saying. So let's take this triangle wave uh, and set it to our amplifier in. And with this, we can get uh, a little bit more of like a kick drum type sound. And then let's put our one volt octave input to that VCO and hear how it sounds with some melodic signal. this um i could go and play with this for a while uh i'm really happy with how it sounds um it's been uh something i've been working on for a while and uh i hope everyone enjoys it um thank you